Hey, what's up, Molen investors and money makers? Welcome back to the channel. We saw a lower low today for Molen, and people are asking what exactly do they need to do, whether buy or hold or sell. And I've been getting a lot of comments from all of you. Now, all of, I'm going to leave it up to you, whatever you want to do. But here I'm going to discuss what is going on, where Molen is at the moment. Why do we see the 88 price point? How far we can go from this price point? Because we saw a pretty choppy range today, 88 cents and 94 cents. I'll be talking about what are the short sellers doing? Because while we ramped up in the volume, the volume was pretty good in my opinion for last couple of days we saw a pretty good volume let me show you real quick we saw 66 or 62 million yesterday and today's volume was uh, uh, also pretty good 41.4 million and while we had this both the volume over 100 million in volume for last couple of days we saw 50 percent close to 50 percent finra short volume ratio so take a look right here on 23rd of may we saw 49.49 percent .49 short volume ratio Yesterday, we saw 49.93 percent short volume ratio that is on 22nd of May and then 23rd of May so all in all we saw 45.7 million in total volume total FINRA volume and we saw 29.2 million in total volume today while we saw the short volume of 14.4 million today and 22.8 million yesterday so all in all we did see the uptick in the volume overall total volume but we also saw a pretty good uptick in the short volume so that's what is concerning when you look further into molen molen partner with a mayor freight uh, fleet solutions to support national service parts and warranty for all the commercial vehicle by the way before i go ahead if you want to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i'll greatly appreciate it Amerit is a one of the nation's largest provider of vehicle fleet service parts and warranty uh, provider and Amerit Freight Solution is a service and warranty provider for a vehicle fleet program with over 1800 professionals so reputed company has partnered with Molen to provide national fleet servicing support for Molen's commercial vehicle and the Molen campus EV van the Molen 1 class 1 EV cargo van and class 3 cab chassis truck program molen is expecting to begin class 3 fleet de uh, deliveries in august and september now what this means is they have up to date year to date they have received 279 million dollars in purchase order now this is not guaranteed as i understand don't quote me i'm not a financial advisor nor i'm a certified professional but this is not guaranteed all this revenue may or may not hit the molen bank account in purchase order so it's not really confirmed purchase order so we need to see how much this is out of this is actually converting into the real cash for molen because as you understand cash is a big deal for molen and molen has been diluting their stocks they have been getting um into the zone of uh, raising more and more cash because they are still pre-revenue we don't really see any dollar hitting the bank account for molen right now with this order class one and class three vehicle ev vans and trucks for randy marion automotive group that's another thing randy marion is one of the reputed company as well who is molen's distributor for class one and class three vehicles randy marion based in north carolina is one of the largest commercial uh, e vehicle dealer group in the u.s Ma randy marion is distributor of molen's uh, commercial evs and the u.s molen is expecting to launch class three e ev vehicle as well the first slated for delivery in August and September 2023. So by that time, we can expect that Molen will start registering the revenue um, on their um, cash account or, or on their balance sheet. And we will see for the most part, it won't be super profitable to begin with because there will be still some of the obligations that they need to consider. Amerit will provide national fleet service and warranty repair work for Molen's campus EV van and we know that UNC campus has some of this. The Molen 1 and the class 1 EV cargo van and Molen 3 which is a class 3 EV cab chassis truck. Prior to this program launch, they'll be working closely with Molen automotive commercial team and vehicle technicians in Michigan and Mississippi to train Molen's commercial vehicle and establishing the services protocols and the requirement. They have over 1,800 highly trained service technicians across the U.S., and they have built the business and reputation on providing stellar services across the different fleet and commercial vehicle program. 
That is David, the CEO of Merits, right? We look forward to providing Molen and their Flick customer with the same high level of service and support and commitment. We are confident that Merit will uh, is a great uh, fit and provide our servicing commercial vehicle for, for Molen. That's what Molen told us. Now, what is going on? Now, Molen stock gets burned. You already know this part because we are showing lower lows and this is the lowest low that we saw. All time low, we saw that at 88 cents today. Part of the reason is the short sellers. They are not stepping back. They are moving forward with full steam and the stock gets burned as this article talks about. Someone needs to told, um, tell Molen Automotive about knocking the wood to avoid the bad luck. Now, why this is partially this is because of this is on the target for short sellers. Yes, it's a meme stock, but uh, we do see that the short sellers are strong and they're getting stronger. On Thursday last week, California headquarter company, we already know that 1425 reverse a share split on May 3rd. And we are on May 23rd and we are very well below $1. We are not foreseeing that we can go above $1 at least at this point, right? We saw today that we only went to 94 cents. We did not really go to the previous close either. So we did not really cross the pre previous close. On the contrary, we just went as high, we could just go as high as 94 cents. We were closed with 4.23% at 91 cent, but with that, we need to also understand the company's share had successfully traded about $1 threshold value to maintain Nasdaq's listing for 10 consecutive business days, trading sessions. Now, what happened after that? You and I both know we are below $1. So if we go that route and if we cannot really go above $1 for 30 consecutive transaction or trading day, we will be getting another notice from NASDAQ in terms of the compliance for $1 minimum bid price requirement. Prior to undertaking reverse stock split, you see Molen's shares have been sinking steadily to the point where it will ultimately six cents. Right now, the current price point, as you already know, is uh, somewhere between three and five cents. It has been juggling lower than five cents for sure, making Molen literally a penny stock and therefore not qualified to continue trading on NASDAQ, which requires the stock to maintain at least one bid, one dollar bid rule requirement. Molen issued flurry press release both on the river stock split afterwards describing their vehicles, electric vehicles indeed announced the contract with hundreds of millions of dollars to purchase such vehicles. Despite these efforts, Molen has been unable to attract enough buyers to raise the stock price organically. Which is when they started this river stock split, but we are back to square one again. So instead, for each Molen shareholder owning the share, the company exchanged 25 six cent shares of Molen Automotive, you already know, to one new share that is worth $1.50 to artificially raise the price share price point. Now, this is perfectly legit, perfectly in compliance, and we have seen multiple companies do that to maintain the $1 price point requirement. And yet, Molen's problems continue. Despite claiming that it is a quest to lift the share price above $1 and secure Nasdaq listing, Molen's share price has continued to deteriorate after the reverse split and today Molen dropped again below the $1 mark. So what's next? It depends. On one hand, Molen technically fulfilled the Nasdaq's requirement to trade about $1 for 10 consecutive business days as the company explained in its press release. It is currently waiting for confirmation from NASDAQ whether to meet the requirements or not. For the most part, I do believe that it's going to happen and NASDAQ will continue trading, letting, uh, letting Molen trade on a NASDAQ platform. But what can happen is the same rule stated that the failure to maintain $1 plus bid price for a second 30 day consecutive business days may result in issuing Molen under deficiency notice immediately after admitting that Molen had cured the previous deficiency. Molen already bring the breaching that requirement. If it does logically, it'll say reset the clock and it'll find it will need for Molen to find a way to raise the share price once again back about $1 within 180 days. Over and over again, this is going to cause the delusion because the short sellers will attack even more, even stronger. 
whether they by delivering the promises begin to produce start selling EV. So the best bet the Molen has is to start booking revenue, start showing profitability, build the confidence in the community. If they have already some of the Saudi deal, as Lawrence mentioned, probably Molen and David, their CEO, need to come out and share more details and set clear expectations. Fundamentally, nothing changed for the company we already know, but people have higher expectations and turning itself into a viable business or by conducting another reverse share split. Now, if they reverse, if they do one more reverse stock split, that means the short sellers will bring the stock back down again. Now, who guarantees? No one really knows. I do not have crystal ball. Even if I had one, it was pretty cloudy. So I can't really predict the price point for Molen. But what I can tell you is that the delusion is not the way. The real way is to start building the company, start showing the profitability, start booking the revenue, show the on the balance sheet, build the confidence. If they really have the Saudi deal, share in the community. Long story short, Molen is not out of the wood just yet, folks. Better buckle up for more volatility in this, and I 100% agree. As you know, Tip Ranks gave Molen a smart score of 1 out of 10 on Tip Ranks, meaning it is likely to underperform the market. Now, when you talk about market, you already know that market itself has a pretty big turbulence today. We were down 160 points in NASDAQ, we were down 231 points, Dow Jones and S&P was also down 47 points. So all in all, every index was down about a percent and Dow Jones was almost 0.70%. With that, I also wanted to say that while our volume is spiking up, going through the roof, it is not helping Molen. Generally, when the volume is higher for a panning stock, you see a good momentum, which is not the case for Molen because we know that people are talking about um, what's next for Molen. Number two you want to understand is you mark your calendar for June 12th. We know that there is a delay in getting more funding for $45 million. We don't really know what exactly happened, what is the reason behind it, but June 12th is the new date. Their CEO released that the 90 million from SPA and the additional 20 million from promissory notes would be enough to fund Molen for the next 12 months. So all in all, once they have all this cash secured, they'll be up and running for next 12 months uh, so relatively next 9 to 12 months right so when the the release was made or the statement was made before a couple of months it, i'm considering that by the end of this uh, this year or early next year that is how much cash molen has the full 110 million was expected to arrive by june 1st however it looks like the 45 million will now will be received in within 11 days so 11 days late um, to impact Molens based on the late funding unknown, we don't really know, as I just mentioned to you, although an 11-day delay shouldn't be any overly substantial. And I'll keep you posted as to what's happening, but Molen had cash and cash equivalents of $60.3 million as of March 31st and was up $54.08 million a year ago. It had $26 million plus in cash, in restricted cash. With all this, I hope this information helps you. We will keep you, I'll keep you posted. I'll do my due diligence. I'll put my time, energy, and effort. All I just ask you is to motivate me by hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And I wish you all the best in Molen Investing. Thank you.